Um, these are my fronts. So if you imagine this is a full leg or a full skirt or something, it's usually a leg for a pant. Okay, we've just done the, 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 the fronts of them, the two fronts, and it's a pair that you need. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our fly fronts, and it is generally when you're wearing it, it's the right hand side. Okay, so pretend that you're with that, that's your right side and you're wearing it, right hand side. We're going to place my thigh facing and my front of my pant together at the centre front. Alrighty, so we're going to together at the centre front. We're going to make sure that the tops, are, cut edges are level, and the cut edges and the edge of the overlocking is level at the centre front. I'll be doing this on the other side. Yes, you'll yeah. be doing it on the opposite. This is for a women's version, which is right over left. For you, you're left over right. So you're there. Everything we'll be doing, you'll be doing on the opposite side for us. Okay, so I've pinned. So cut edges are together at the top. Cut edges are together at the centre front. You'll notice that I've put a pin about a centimetre from the end. We are going to stop, and that's our stop sign. We are not going to stitch all the way through. We are going to stop a centimetre from the end of our fly facing. Okay, a centimetre from the edge, so it's a centimetre seam allowance. Absolutely back tack all the way through. My pins there is my stop sign. Stopping that human back tacking. off as I go, absolutely trimming off as I go. So I've stopped a centimetre from the end. I'm now going to bluff that seam towards the facing. So the seam goes towards the facing and I'm going to bluff it. Once again I'm going to stop a centimetre from the end. A bluff is two to three mils from the seam that I'm stitching and a bluff always catches a seam on one side. And for us the seam is going towards the facing As you go please and um, there is lots of stopping and starting in this so make sure that you trim as you go so you don't catch any any of your too much too many of your seams as you go through alrighty so that's the first part that I want you guys to do